Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were upstairs. Mm -hmm. All right, now. All right. This is behind your butt. Right. On the back part. So is this supposed to be? Yeah. Coming along there. Yeah. And then what? Then this will or go to that side piece. We'll okay, I'll do this first. And then yeah, I'll but you that again. would be. Because you want to end up with this there. this piece right there right. on the side. So. Okay. Right, <laughs> okay. We're doing the seat. The old seat was just too nasty. So. Oh yeah, I cut this one a little bit smaller. There. It looks like lips. It's like, mm, I'll give you a kiss. It'll be about like this. Tie it down in there. I think it'll look pretty good. My mom's doing the sewing. I cut these pieces the other day and I almost got it right. I think we could make it work. Oh, you know what? I think I might want some slippers or something. Look, sure, left upstairs. Star. Oh, well, I guess I don't need them. Oh, yeah. My air compressor project. Let's see here. I've got too many projects. But, I have to say, at least in my opinion, from being an INTP, I get some of them done. Not even close to a significant percentage of them done, but not all of them go to the wayside. I do accomplish a few things now and then. I mean, what's really accomplished, I never feel it's accomplished. I could always do better, given more time, generally, on the things, but... Unless it's a very straightforward, you know, swap a part for some other part, that's not really challenging. But when you're trying to build something, you end up, you know, kind of, is it good enough? Is it going to work? Or where am I at? You know? Which I don't always know right away, but I can tell as soon as I put something together if it's like, eh, that needs to be stronger. Like my uh, steering dampener when I first was trying to piece it together. I thought, uh, I had some, you know, th thinner pieces of metal. I think I could just clamp to there, but it wasn't going to cooperate that easy. However, I think this ball end connector will hold up pretty well. The bolt goes in it like that far. It's, it's got a rather large bolt. And there's the, uh, the Durango shock absorber. This wasn't all together. It, well, hey, you know what? I wonder if I can see through here. Mm, barely. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah. You can see it right there. It has a little bit of play back and forth, but I didn't even have to alter the, t the tank cover really. I did have to move things around in there. Um, the, like the coil pack has actually moved two inches to the side, but there was clearance for it to do so. So it's, instead of having a bolt on each side, now it's got the bolt going through one side, but it's making all of its grounds. And managed to somehow stuff that air pump back in there. Wish they had another location for that. I didn't want to mess with that though. It's like, ah well, this is what it is. I need to sink the carbs again. And uh, I think my suspension's coming along nicely. I mean, I suppose I'll put a weld there, not that it needs it. <laughs> With this clamp, oh my goodness. And these need to be straightened up a little. Some, probably some proper sized bolts in there. I'm just trying to hold it together to see if these were going to do their thing and line up correctly. And yeah, well. But, uh, it has suspension. But what's different is it, it has a little side to side give too, so that it doesn't transfer all of the force into the front wheel. It wasn't like that before. It really shook the front end. And with the uh, dampener on there, I'm able to ride, you know, 
standing up on it one-handed at 50 without even feeling nervous about anything. I, the seat was stuck to my butt, so I was trying to get it on sticks. I ended up having to stand up to peel it off of my butt. That's why I was changing the seat too, part of the reason. But uh, yeah, anyway, I it just you know, feels comfortable. I stood up and riding it one-handed, no problem at all. Coming into a 30 mile an hour corner. Yeah, on the Lewis River Highway. But I digress. You can see exhaust is uh, pretty sweet too, actually. That, that came out right. Yeah. Slightly different lengths though. I'll, I'll get that straightened out. But it looks pretty trick out here, I think. We gotta clean these up, and get some paint in there, figure out what I'm gonna do with the bullet holes. I guess the fenders are just how they are. That one looks alright. I, I think I may have this one a little bit off center. Yeah, this one's a shade more forward than the other one, isn't it? Let's see. It doesn't appear to be. You know what? Oh, this is the one that's torqued a little bit and it needs to be, yeah, brought down in there. Okay, now I remember. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah. So, I think it's the proper length now, actually. It was a little stubby before, now it's like a decent sized machine. It rides nice too. I'm going to make a good video of it riding and uh, watching going through some corners maybe. <laughs> Suzy Q. It's out here looking for me probably. Okay, uh, that's it for now. I'll be back. Carry on. Wayward sons and daughters. <laughs>